Thank you. Sounds flow like great rivers rushing through the night to slowly wash my loneliness away now. Strange gifts from ten fingers tell me I'll be right. So just turn the radio on And then they will give you a song With ten tunes now you're not alone And the music Let those new rhythms drop into your life And move your feet and skip a beat with me now Don't worry, cause you don't have to sing along Just move your head Move your feet with mine now And we'll turn the radio on And then they will give you a song With ten tunes now you're not Hello and welcome to the A to Z of Slow Walk. We're just checking our technical things. Hopefully everyone can hear and see me. Marshall, if we go to the profile page, my profile, you can see it there, no? Yes? Click on me, my profile, no? Okay, hopefully everyone can see. Just give me a second.
Okay. A few uh, nice little technical issues there. We always like them. So this is the A to Z of Slow Walk. So lots of people are doing lists and kind of looking back at their favorite albums and um, things that influenced them at the moment. And so I thought I'd go through the Slow Walk archives um, and pull out some mostly old and a couple of new songs. I'm going to go through the Slow Walk alphabet. And uh, that first song you might recognize if you've listened to Slow Talk as the theme to Slow Talk, and it's called Radio. So I'm breaking the A to Z rules with that. But um, uh, we're now going to go to the actual alphabet. So A is for afternoon tea. And it goes a little something like this. Over the cobbles and down to the sea Past galleries, bookshops and old bakeries So why don't you come for afternoon tea with me? I forgot to actually say what this song is about and because this is quite a casual kind of chat, A to Z um, I'm going to say, so a is for afternoon tea, and afternoon tea is um, really about childhood holidays in um, the great land of Great Britain, really, um, particularly in the Isle of Wight, also Cornwall, Devon, places like that. Um, hopefully soon we'll be able to go and visit those places again and see and experience some of the activities that are referenced in this song. Um, uh, mostly, most of them involve some kind of an art or craft and uh, definitely a model village. So this is afternoon tea, so please come and have some afternoon tea with me. Over the cobbles and down to the sea Past galleries, bookshops, and old bakeries. So, why don't you come for afternoon tea with me? We've localized history and share pleasantries. Or you take a picture for our gallery. An adventure park leaflets would take us there free. So much to see. Then we can watch a man shaping glass And somewhere around here I know there's a path it may take us hours, but hey, who's counting? So that's why they call it Smuggler's Cove And food tastes divine from an old open stove And please don't forget to take your shoes off at the door Remember back in the old days The whole family With simplified pleasure And sweet remedy And hope 
hopefully one day I can continue legacy. But just for now, we'll pirate the sea. Permanent vacation from responsibility and smile as we drink our afternoon tea down by the sea. Down by the sea. The sea. So that was afternoon tea. Hopefully, um, we'll be able to go have some cream teas fairly soon. Um, when all this is over, come join me in a model village on a pebbled street um, after we've watched, witnessed some glass blowing and uh, sampled some local, I don't know, vinaigrettes, chutneys, um, ciders, and then we'll finish it off with a nice cream tea. Um, so moving on, B is, um, B is for boxes. And some of you might know this song. Boxes is really about, it's fair to say I probably wrote it at a time when I wasn't enjoying my job the most. But it's not necessarily about hating your job. It's really about sort of sometimes when you work for a company and it's their attitude towards the workers, really. And that's what this song is. It's an anti sort of corporate bullshit song, I guess, in a re really. The way they, they pretend that they care about you, but neither pay you or show any regard for you whatsoever. And that's what boxes is about. So this is B for boxes. I put things in boxes. They tell me I'm an asset to the company. Always check the boxes We need you more than our machinery Please be assured you're in good company Please think of us as one big family I still live out of boxes can bring myself to empty them History in boxes Wait until it's time to move again I hope this time I'll have some company So I can settle down and finally Empty all my boxes then maybe I can up and leave the factory Cause we may end up in boxes But I ain't getting in while I can still damn breathe Give my regards to the company I've really been my own worst enemy So I'll empty my Locker and pack my box and hit the road. Oh, here I go.
Thank you very much. That was Boxes, um, an ironic anti-work song at this time. <laughs> um, so, um, C is for cul-de-sac blues, and um, this is a song um, any of you that came to see Slow Walk the Band will definitely recognise. That was probably the song we played the most, and definitely the song that we enjoyed playing the most. And cul-de-sac blues is a character song, really, about a guy who's lives in a cul-de-sac. So, you know, kind of very subtle song. You can see where this is going. So he's not particularly happy with his life. Has a bit of a dead-end job. Comes home, doesn't really talk to his wife. And he's got a lot of anger issues, really. And he's fed up with also all the reality TV that just shows him basically his day at work, which he really loathes already. And, um, yeah, so this song is Cold Sad Blues. It's not, you know, it's not autobiographical anymore. So, you know, um, I've moved out of the cul-de-sac. I'm now in a dingy basement, so it's much better. Onwards and downwards, as they say. So, um, anyway, for Cold Sad Blues, I'm actually going to play uh, a video um, that I we did earlier um, because... I actually managed to get um, Mr. Stephen Bennett, a.k.a. Bean, one of the members of Slow Walk, the band, um, to play in the song with me. Obviously, both from our houses. Um, we couldn't do it live because we couldn't find any way to stream. Even the Rolling Stones couldn't do it, so don't blame us. Um, so we recorded a video um, in our separate houses, not together. So we were following the two-meter rule. In fact, we're probably following the at least you know, 5,000 metre rule. So um, I'm now going to play you a uh, Cold Sack Blues video and big up to Mr. Bean, um, who, as always, blasts the bass in this. Um, this was actually really fun. One, two, three, four. <laughs> of my life trying to forget my day but we can't talk we just can't talk I can't even look you in the eye no more and so we're sitting in front of Yeah, I sure work to get 
buy some stuff I bought some stuff Some stuff I probably never Okay, so that was um, Colder Sat Blues. So, um, moving on to D. Um, D is quite an old song. Um, some would say in my sadder days. Um, and it's it's called Don't. And um, this song's really about, I don't know, uh, a breakup, I guess, and how afterwards you can't really, you don't really want to think about that person, but you can't really get them out of your head. And um, you just want them to go away, really. Um, from yourself. It's not even them, it's yourself. So it's even worse. Um, and yeah, this is Don't. the 
another son Then I won't have to think of you No, I won't have to think of you Cause all you do is make me sad You make me feel like I've done bad I'm sick and tired of wanting you No, I don't want of you. Okay, that was D for Don't. Hope you're all still there. Hope you can hear me. Okay, so um, E could only really be for Electronic Man. And um, Electronic Man was sort of written after I watched um, a show, a documentary about sort of Japanese uh, lock-ins. Um, that was, God knows, about 15 years ago now. And I imagine, you know, there's a lot of cases of many people who... This, again, is kind of ironic, as we're all currently lock-ins. So I suppose we're all electronic man right now, and ironically, I am communicating to you via technology. But at the time when I saw this, um, these were early cases, I guess, of people living um, at home um, uh, via technology and not communicating um, in f you know, physically with anyone or in the outside world. And so... This song really was for Electronic Man. It was like, you know, well, that's great, but go out, get some sun, mate, you know? Um, so obviously we're all now Electronic Man. Um, so this is for all of us right now. <laughs> I'm going to swap my pick for this one because we're going to get rocking, you know? That's what I'm going to do for you on a Friday night. Let's change it up. We heard you got hot wired, stuck up your mind on rap. Don't get this techno babble, guess I'm a simple man. You sit and wait for nothing while the glass it turns. You've turned your bedroom global, we're frankly quite concerned. I'm an electronic man. You do the best that you can. I'm an electronic man. I have got to hide from the world I see outside. You talk about to someone, not in the room you're in. 
Okay. That was electronic, man. I'm glad so many of you have joined me. This is awesome. Hello, Ali. I hope you and Harry are good. Um, who else is here? Everyone, Mr. Kitchen, Mr. Brook, Mr. Kennedy. I hope everyone's keeping well. And um, thanks for joining me. Makes me feel like, to be fair, this is probably more people than I used to get at gigs. You know, um, certainly more people in the actual room than a lot of gigs that I played. Um, <laughs> So, I'm going to quickly make sure this is in tune, because that last song just battered the hell out of it. Okay, sorry about that, we're in tune. So, F, um, this song is called uh, Farewell to Cowboy Town, and hopefully Mr. Nicholas Foley is watching. Um, I know this involves technology, so there's a chance he isn't. I really hope he is. Um, I hope you're watching, Nick. Um, so, me and Nick wrote this song about Black Gang Chime. If you don't know, it's apparently the oldest theme park and it's actually um, located on the Isle of Wight and both him and me and I'm sure some of you as well had our childhood um, holidays in Black Gang Shine. In fact uh, we both had our photos taken on the Stegosaurus and um, we I remember once we got to talking about it and <laughs> Um, we ended up writing a song about it. In fact Nick wrote the lyrics and I sort of wrote the music around them um, after we did a lot of research on it, and um, I think the lyrics are brilliant. And so this is called Farewell to Cowboy Town. This is for all the people at Black Gang Chime. This is for Cowboy Town, which sadly, you'll find out what happened to Cowboy Town in the song if you listen. So this is Farewell to Cowboy Town. Yeah, so the song goes called Farewell, Farewell to Cowboy Town. Technology. Where are, my, where are my techs? Where are my grips? Normally, obviously, I'd have a full stage crew because of the current situation. Um, at, uh, you know, my lighting man isn't here. Um, no smoke. Um, so I, I apologise for the lacklustre show, but that's my lazy stage crew who've come up with some excuse for not being here. So um, anyway, this is Farewell to Cowboy Town. Come on in to the magical world of Black Gang Time. Alexander the Bell invites you to witness the wonders and mysteries that await you inside this very merry go land. You will see dinosaurs, cowboys, pirates, bears, and more dinosaurs. Sit on the Stegosaurus if you dare. The oldest theme park in history Slowly slips into the sea The end of childhood fantasies And no one cares except for me The rumpus mansion can be seen For Cowboy Town it's far too late why don't they simply relocate Instead of accepting their deadly fate And accept the bell cried, what the hell We build a park and tickets I will sell Could follow the sun, since it began Black and child, that's how it
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I really hope Mr. Nicholas Foley was watching. Um, at some point, we will send that to Black Gang Chine, who hopefully will appreciate it, even though um, we essentially are, um, you know, sort of slagging off the building plans <laughs> with the park. Um, so basically, what happened was Cowboy Town, it's right on the cliff, Black Gang Chine, and Cowboy Town actually fell into the sea. That is true. It actually fell into the sea. It's still there, I think. I think if you, you know, you can still visit it um, for an extra price. They give you some diving equipment, and you literally just jump off the top of the cliff. Um, they've actually obviously rebuilt Cowboy Town. They've got a new Cowboy Town now. It's not the same. It's not underwater, is it, you know? So, um, moving on to G, um, I'm going to quickly... I'm going to come over and liaise with you, see what you guys are saying. I'm just checking, checking on my peeps, you know. Ah, some of you are watching on YouTube as well. Sorry, I am um, very technically inept. Got so many things going on here. So I want to give a big up to the uh, YouTube crowd as well. So I've got a Facebook and a YouTube crowd. Um, it's not a competition. Um, I think Facebook will win. No, they're not. YouTube, you, I love you guys as well. Um, maybe I should do a thing, you know, like doing a live thing where they go, like, you guys cheer now, and then you guys cheer, and we see who's better. Obviously, it would just be a load of cheering emojis, so it would be hard to kind of really gauge who the winner is, but we can give it a go, you know? I mean, I don't see why we, can lose, we have to lose these kind of things, even though now, you know, we have to do it from a safe distance. Um, so we can still have that interaction. Um, uh, what did I want to say? Helen and Shay, hello. Thanks for watching. Um, ah, catchy, catchy. Okay, <laughs> brilliant. Right, anyway, moving on. What am I on to then? I'm on to G. So, um, okay. G is for Goodbye My Love. And this is from a film yet to be made called On the Hill. And this is this is kind of, I don't know, the heartbroken song of the film, I guess. And um, it's when, you know, the character he's gone back to win back his old love and he has to he kind of admit to himself that he's moved on and he has to say goodbye to him. So again, typical slow walk, on the nose, it's called Goodbye My Love. Um, <laughs> didn't really need to describe at all what it was about. I think you pretty much could have gathered that from the title. So this is Goodbye My Love. Goodbye My Love I've said too much The walls are down I'm losing touch Goodbye, my love Perhaps we'll meet again Goodbye, my love Just to get 
get your touch goodbye my love I'm glad you were my friend and I don't want to lose you but I don't got a phone going off. Oh, it's me. I'm going to fire that guy um, myself. Um, I'm going to finish the song anyway. <laughs> Goodbye, my love, I've seen. very much. I apologise for that, um, you know, very unprofessional audience member that um, messed it up for all of us there. Um, uh, I think that was actually an alarm I set to my, uh, for myself to say, get the hell out. You know, I by this point, it's probably not going well, so just leave. That was like my SOS call. It just says, just stop, get out, run. Just say something and say, I'll be back in a second and just leave it streaming. Um, <laughs> So, I apologise for that. Um, so, we've got one more song in this first set of the A to Z. It's going to be two more parts. Next part will be next Friday. And next week, so what could possibly go wrong? I thought, you know, enough technical issues tonight. Next week, I'm going to introduce a loop pedal and several instruments on top. So, that'd be fun. Um, also, we're going to have um, some more videos um, of me playing songs remotely with some other people. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have um, some more celebrity issues um, and live performances. Well, pre-recorded live performances. Um, so stay tuned for next week. Um, it's going to be quite a different set next week, I think. So anyway, we've got one more song, and uh, H is for Holloway Road. And I'm really glad that Ali and Harry are watching, actually, because I know <laughs> that they lived on Holloway Road for a while. So they hopefully will appreciate this song and many of the references in it. I'm sure many of you as well will know that area. Um, and this song I wrote many years ago when I was on holiday, and I heard the song Baker Street, and I thought, oh, it'd be cool to write a song about somewhere in London, a street or an area. And for some reason, um, Holloway Road just sort of came into my mind. I used to live near there, had some good times. Um, but it's a strange song, obviously not quite as, you know, up and coming or as, you know, classy as Baker Street, maybe. Um, uh, but I felt it needed a song. 
So this is Holloway Road. Just going to quickly check your messages. hope that Nick is watching on his gramophone. Um, <laughs> um, it's probably the best way to watch it, to be fair. Best sound quality as well. So maybe I can recommend that to a few of you guys. Maybe switch to your gramophones or your 8-track. Um, even, you know, a VHS recorder. Um. <coughs> so... Oh, Holiday Road, I like that reference as well, Ian. Love that song. Um, I would like to do that. Let's see if we can work it out. Holiday Road. But that was, um, um, I'm sure many of you know, uh, the theme tune to um, National Ham Lampoon's Holiday Vacation, um, where they go on an adventure to, to an ill fated adventure to Wally World. Um, it's a good film, I reckon, to watch at the moment, actually. Well, as will Lockings, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not a road movie. Um, but anyway, um, sadly, this isn't a holiday road. It's Holloway Road. So I hope you enjoy the record. Um, and please join us next time for the second part of Stay Walk A to Z. Um, we're going to have a bit of a swerve next time as well. And like I say, some more guest appearances. Um, probably Chris Martin. I mean, he seems to be turning up on every other live stream at the moment. So I'm sure he'll do mine. He'll just turn up, you know, play a bit of piano, maybe rap over the top, and then fuck off. Um, Excuse my language. Please excuse my language. Anyone watching will forgive me. Um, anyway, this is uh, Holloway Road. <laughs>
Yeah, usually the government Thank you very much. That was um, Holloway Road. And um, this has been the A to Z of Slow Walk, part one. Part two, the return, the revenge, part de, part dos. We'll be coming um, next Friday, uh, same time, same place. And um, Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your comments. I'm going to go through and read them all now. I'm going to save them, put them in a book, um, put them on my fridge. Um, uh, no, seriously, though, thank you very much for joining and watching this. Um, and, yeah, come join me next week. Like I said, I'm going to have a loop pedal. I'm going to be playing a bit of a swerve, um, some more slow walk numbers. I'm going to have, hopefully, some guest appearances. Um, not here. You know, I'm obeying the rules. Um, unless, you know, if they do come here, it'd be in a full hazmat suit through that tunnel like an E.T., um, which would be quite interesting. And we're, we're when we play, we'll maybe hook our suits up, you know, so we'll only be able to go so far. Um, that could be fun. But, no, we're probably going to do it, you know, um, via digital um, video, of course. So, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for watching Slow Walk A to Z Part 1. <laughs>